some flowers I was making on our long road trip and somebody asked me for a tutorial. So here it is. I'm actually going to be using this um, fat quarter fabric pack that I got from Love My Fabrics. And uh, this is these are the flowers that we're going to be making today. This is, um, I found a lady making these. They're just so cute. Um, and here's a smaller one. And she calls them the Jessa Abbey flower. So we're going to make some Jessie Abbey flowers, which I love. Just look at how pretty those are. And then I made a smaller one to nestle inside. And then we're going to be making the loopy flower. And then this can just sit right on top. And look at how cute that flower is. And then you can just put a little, well, you could leave it just like that because it's cute as it could be. Or you could put a little flat back pearl or something in the middle, some bling. Totally cute. So I believe that this this um, fabric pack is called Cosmos, I think. But I'll leave a link below to Love My Fabric so you can see all the amazing um, coordinating fabric packs that they offer. Absolutely love them, love them. So we'll start with the um, Jessa Abbey flower. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut these circles. I'm guessing this is about 2 inch, but here's the thing is I make flowers... Um, for relaxation so none of them are uh, perfect I'm not a big on measuring it out I kind of just want to just do it so I grabbed this candle to make the bottom for these for my favorite candle candle lady so shameless plug for um, mystic oasis my friend Kathy love her if you're looking for some candles or melts let me know I'll hook you up with her links and then for the um for the smaller one that i made to nestle in there i just grabbed a lid so you know i don't even know i don't i just don't do measurements with my flowers because i just find it's more relaxing to not do that so i'm going to see if i can show you i'm still trying to figure out my new camera angle see if i can show you how to fold this because you're going to fold it in half okay and then you're going to kind of do like an accordion fold with this you're going to fold one part up like that, making a little triangle. Okay, then you're gonna fold this back. So it's kind of like an accordion fold to to finish the triangle. Okay, so it looks like that. Really cute. And I've been using about eight petals on each of my Jesse Abbey flowers. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna thread this right through the tip making sure I get all the layers okay and then I'm just gonna bring it on down and then just make a pile of them so I have a couple more to add so I hope that I'm showing this correctly hope you can see it so you're gonna fold it make your little triangle and then fold this part back so it's like an accordion fold until you've got your little cone shape and then we're just going to thread it right through the end all right now i have done some with seven um i prefer eight but i mean you just play around that's the thing about the flowers is you just play around with it and you know make it your own as many petals as you want make the petals as big or as small as you want i mean it's just that's the beauty of it. I think that's why it's so relaxing to me because you just, there's no real rules. You just go for it. Okay, so this will be my last petal for this Jessa Abbey flower. All right, so what I like to do then is, I'm sure the stitch would hold on its own, but I just feel better if I pull out that beginning stitch a little bit so that I can just run the stitch through there to kind of secure it. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see that or if that made sense, but. <sighs> okay, and then I'm just gonna go back through that original petal. I'm gonna go back through that original petal with the needle. And then I'm gonna pull it I'm going to pull it tight to make my flower. 
You can just move them around however you want. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. All right, so I'm going to come back here to secure the stitch. It looks like one of them came unfolded. Of course, I've been making a bazillion of these, and the one time I go to make a tutorial, something gets cattywampered. That's the way it goes. All right, so I'm just going to pull that tight. Still try to make this work. Then I'm just going to make a, a knot in the back here. Like I feel like I need to move my camera down maybe so you can get a better view. I don't know. I'm working on it, ladies. I'm working on it. Okay. Pull, pull, pull. Right, let me slip that off there so you can get a look at it. So, look at how cute it is. I mean, it's just, it's cute and it's fluffy. I just love these little flowers. And just how cute it would be with a pearl right in the middle. But I like um, the lady, and I can't remember her name, who um, came up with the Just the Abby Flower. I'll put a link to her channel bef below because I have it on my favorites. But she's been nesting hers in the loopy flower, and I just love because I was already um, loving loopy flowers. But I just love the way it looks nestled down inside there. So we're going to make one of those. And so I cut a strip of fabric, and I don't measure it. It's about, I would say this is about one and three quarter inches, maybe. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't, you know, just depends on your preference. And then I fold it in half. And then I ran a running stitch which I hope you can see, let's see. I run a running stitch along that open edge all the way along without gathering it, okay? And then uh, I just do it till my fabric runs out. So I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how long that is. <sighs> Let me get out my ruler. So it's a little more than a, than a foot. It's probably about, yeah, I don't know about 15 inches but I mean then again it's up to you and now I'm, I'm leaving the needle attached to the thread that's run through because we are going to gather this but first we're going to cut it we've got to make our little cuts so um, I hope you can get a good view of this so I'll have to hold it up to the camera let's see we're just going to come in and give it little you know, as far as you can without cutting the um, running thread that you thread through there. You're just going to make these little cuts. Now, um, my opinion is the smaller the little loops you're making, the better it looks. I've tried it with fat loops and it just doesn't lay as nice. But of course, I have made it with smaller loops than this, and that's pretty too, but that just takes too long to cut, so I'm going to go with this size. This is a, and it doesn't matter. I mean, some of them are bigger than others, smaller than others. It's just not that important. To me, flowers aren't an exact science. They're just fun. They're just fun. And they're relaxing for me. So I'm, I'm very excited to be spending some time making flowers today. All right, so we're going to get this all cut. Just don't cut that thread because then you'll have to start all over, my friend. We don't want that. Am I still on camera? Okay. You guys, I'm going to get the hang of this new camera, I promise. All right, let's see. A couple more. are just so cute and I think um, my first loopy flower tutorial I'm pretty sure was on Tutu Amy's channel yeah I think that's where I saw this so let me, well I get excited towards the end sometimes I start making them too fast because I get in a hurry let's not do that okay Alright, now, whoops, I 
lost my feed. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I'm going to gather up these loops. So you've got all your loops cut. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, now I'm going to gather them up by just pulling the needle and the thread <coughs> and pushing down the fabric. And you can see it starts to gather. Sometimes it just makes a mess, but eventually you'll get there. You just keep pulling that fabric down. Keep pulling that fabric down. I'm trying to figure out where this, this where's the, sh the shadow? It must be from the camera. Okay. So we're going to just pull it, pull it, pull it. Now, you gather it, you decide how big you want the bottom to be, and really that's going to depend on how big this is, because you want this bottom to stick out, like, you don't want it to do like this one I made, and they're almost exactly the same size. You really want the loopy flower to be bigger than the flower you're putting on top. So I want to make sure that this is big enough. And I am just going to run the thread through here to connect them. Connect the ends. And then I'll get a better idea of where we're at. Like, do I want it right there? Let's see. Yeah, I like that because it's still, it's peeking out around. So I'm going to go ahead and Tie my knot there. Put the thread. Oops. I use my mouth make when I'm making flowers. I'm sorry, but it just it's like I need three hands and I don't we don't have three hands, so the mouth has to do. And we'll just clip that. And then now is when you can move around the... All right. Don't you hate when that happens? Let's see, I've already got, I think, one that already has a knot in it. So I'm going to try to fix that without having to go and make it all over again. Do you love it? I haven't had any problems making these until I try to make a tutorial. Cracks me up. But anyways, they're fixable. Um, oh, and I think Jake's coming to help, too. Yay, the more the merrier. Hi, Jake. Okay, and let me go through here. Let's see if that will do. Mm -hmm. Can't get it as taut as I want now. I can move these over. I guess. All right. I'm going to try to weave through these loops, I think, and draw that in a little bit more. It's just too loose. I don't like that. Maybe I should make a bloopers. Because this. This is becoming a blooper. <laughs> but I think we can save it. I think we can save it. All right, now I'm going to try to make my knot again and uh, not cut the thread this time. Too close, I guess that's what happens. Cut it too close, or I don't know what. All right, so. I'm going to leave a way bigger tail than I normally would. All right, so I've got it. Yeah, it's a good size. I like that. Here. I feel like it looks better up. Alright, you don't have to worry about the mess in the middle. You're not going to see it. Let's see now the, um, so that's a loopy flower. And of course you can, if you pull that all the way where you don't even see a circle, it makes just a big fluffy flower. You know, it's not as flat. But I'm using it as a bottom layer, so I'm not worried about it being big and fluffy. Okay, but see then, I'm just going to glue that just right in there and then you've got this just pretty pretty flower 
And then I love how these fluff up. I mean, you don't even have to put anything in the middle if you don't want to, but you certainly can. Like you can put a pearl right there and that would be cute. But there's, you know, there's a couple examples of the, um, just the Abbey flower sn um, snuggled into the loopy flower. And then this one is the, the one I made this three layers and I just made the just the Abbey flower with smaller petals. Right, it's just cute. So I love these, and again, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get used to my camera angle. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get rid of this shadow over here, but um, I hope you give these a try and that you enjoy making them as much as I do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.